Erev Shabbos Kodesh Parshas Vayikra, a new Parsha, a new Sefer, a new month. This week, we add on to our Torah reading the Parsha of Amalek, that little piece of Torah which teaches us to hate, teaches us to remember the evil that Amalek did to us. And it's a mitzvah that I always had a problem with. How can we hate? How could the Torah tell us to hate? How could it be the long after we have no idea who is from Amalek and who is not from Amalek? We must remember that we must hate them. And recently it occurred to me that this mitzvah is a mitzvah of peace because the human mind, and for that matter, human civilization, humanity, has the ability not only to forget but to make peace with evil. It was just a few years ago that we heard the shocking reports of civil war in Syria where tens of thousands of people were killed and our hair stood up. We were horrified by what we heard. And here we are a few short years later where 400,000 people have been killed and it hardly makes the news. ISIS, when we started hearing about decapitations and evil Um, of 10 people, of 100 people, 1,000 people. We couldn't stand the news, but then we became used to it. And the Nazis, who killed millions and millions and millions of Jews and other people, and somehow or another, the world got used to it and stood silent. Stalin killed over 20 million people. Where is the news? Where, where, why didn't the whole world get shaken up by this? The answer is the cognitive dissonance of our minds, the cognitive dissonance of the entire world is to somehow live with evil. It's there, that's life, we need to make peace with it. To this the Torah says, Zachar val tishkach ezecher amalek. No, 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 no. Evil is evil. We must never forget evil. We must never let it ride and compromise our thinking and our standards and who we are and what we believe in. Our life is a light. Our purpose in this world is to shed that light and to abhor evil forever and ever.